Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play New Horizons. Last time we arrived in Santo Domingo, and we are now looking for the Neo-Atlantis Fortress and the Marquis Martinez so that we can put an end to um, their plot to take over the world. Um, we need to now find out where they are, and we need to trigger some events, and to do that we need to make sure that we're at neutral ports. And the best way to do that is if a, if a port is allied with somebody, you need to invest in either the marketplace or the shipyard. Again, for Catalina's quest, it doesn't really matter. Later on, or when I do other Let's Plays, I'll explain why it's more important. But basically, we want some neutral ports. So that way, uh, we'll be able to trigger some uh, some speech by some of the guys. So, for example, now that this port is neutral, yeah, I should be able to go into an inn. And look at this, immediately. Someone's being chased. Is that a fight? They're running towards the cafe. Let's go. All right, and now off we go to the cafe. Let's see what's going on here. It's Zhao, what? And is that Lucia? Oh my gosh. Zhao and Rocco, yeah. Yeah, Rocco's, yeah, Rocco's tough, man. He's, he's a pretty, he's pretty intense. Okay, we're gonna see if they get in trouble. And apparently they can knock pirates off the screen in one shot. That's pretty strong. I wish I could do that. How many men do I need to defeat? You got it, Rocco. Don't worry about it, buddy. More off the screen. Uh-oh, one of them got Lucia. Oh, man, that was quite a leap. That's pretty bold. How could Jao have missed that? He jumped right over him. Lucia was taken as a hostage. Go without me, Jao. Ah! Drop your sword and line up there. Uh-oh. Ugh. Oh. Man, what a, that guy looks weird. Like that red hair and that stupid looking mustache. Man, Catalina comes in to save the day. Grab Lucy and get out of here. And apparently he grabbed her right over top of that dude. Alright, it's fight time. Now we're dueling inside the cafe, so. Okay, so. This guy sucks. It should take us too long to defeat him. Alright, let's try striking. Now I block it. Shoot. Okay, no problem. Okay, come back with thrust. That should take care of it. Oh man, we barely survived. There we go. Got him. Yes. Good job, Catalina. Okay. And we took care of that. And then we jumped and we and we took him out there. Now it's gotta catch up with Jao. Where'd they go? They went to the harp. Alright. Let's go. Okay. There's Jao. Well that was easy. Martinez. No, that's our job, to take care of the Marquis. See? What are we doing here in South America? Ah, yes, see, Marquis was the one that took care of this. What? No, don't be surprised, Joe. You know he's evil. The Portuguese scheme of Neo-Atlantis. Yep. See, and I didn't know this before I started playing this game. The Treaty of Tordesillas, or I don't know how you say that, but... I guess in 1522, that was important. So... Man, that is devious plan. Ah, normal approach won't work. We have another problem. What could that be? The, this is, I guess this is the first time they're referred to as the Invincible Spanish Fleet, but... Hmm, I guess I heard about this. Didn't hear about this, too, but apparently Ezequiel's around here and he's after us. And how can we be successful? Why would Ezequiel help us? See, that's impossible. And wanted by the Spanish Navy. See, I didn't realize that Portugal and Spain were enemies. Well, I guess that makes sense. Portugal and Spain are enemies since of the whole Franco thing at the beginning of the game. He's been thinking about surrendering. What? Ugh, why would you do that? All right. Okay, so let's go see if Ezequiel's around. Now watch this, viewers. If I immediately do this and check and see who's around me. 
There's six Spanish battle fleets and Jao Franco. We've got six frigates, which actually isn't a bad ship, so. And if I gossip with what's happening with Jao, he says he's on his way home. So I'm going to go around here, and they, and they start following me. And I believe that's Jao up there, but anyways, if I just you gossip with one of them, they're gonna they'll attack you. Halter, we'll fire. There's Ezequiel again. Wait, he'd like to talk to Commander Ezequiel. Thanks, Jao. See, I'm wondering how they're able to communicate with each other. I guess they have megaphones or something. Because they have to yell at each other across ships. I don't know. We need some help. We have an urgent task. It's my duty to arrest that pirate. Oy. Ah, yeah, Catalina surrenders. Ugh. What? Please listen to the Portuguese gentleman. All right. Gentleman's courtesy. Mm, yes, now he's acting like a gentleman. Mm, yes, yeah. I'm quiet. I'm mm, yeah. quiet. Internal rivalry that is threatening the stability of Portugal. The Francos lead the liberal reformists and the conservative nobility by the Marquis Martinez. Huh. Liberals versus conservatives, just like in America. Oh, okay. Outrageous scheme. Built a replica of Atlantis, yes. The worst pirates in the world, and we'll see that here in a second. Subjugation of the entire world. On the Amazon River, so we're going to need to go down there and take them out. And that's what happened to Michael. Okay, so apparently he, he knows about it. For all of Iberia. So please follow us. Okay, viewers. This is it. We're about to go to the final battle of the game. Let me restock some of my ships. And again, you can look and see. And if you shake hands and ask them what they're doing, they have some business with us. Same thing with these guys. So, Okay. I'm going to make a stop real quick and resupply my ships. And then we will go and try and win the game. Okay, viewers, I'm back, but unfortunately, I'm almost out of time. I'm not going to have time to go and uh, fight this final battle, so I'm going to stop right here. Next time, I'm going to go face the final battle of the game, defeat the Marquis Martinez, and avenge the loss of our brother and fiancé. But until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.